me again, it's Anushka. Hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to be doing a kind of dewy AF makeup tutorial. And I'm also going to be talking about products that I really, really love to get that real like dewiness, that wet dewy look. Uh, but it's controlled so the main pro the main reason why I wanted to do this video because is because I was so guilty of being literally like oil slick in the past in the summer literally last year I remember I, I like in pictures I literally looked like someone chucked sunflower oil all over my face like honestly after like my friend saying that I looked kind of shiny and looked kind of oily which was really true I would walk out the door with no powder and just oily like dewy products um, if you like that dewy, 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 dewy look, there's nothing long, wrong with that. But I feel like for me, I've learned like this is like the best look for me. So I, what I do is I keep the center matte, and then every, uh, basically I give you tips and techniques how to make it dewy f, but like controlled dewy af. I think that's what I'm gonna call it. Like it's not over the top to a point where like all your pores are accentuated, all your like dots and bumps and lines are all accentuated. No, we're gonna I'm gonna talk to you guys through how to get that lovely dewy look but still look you know put together you know not too over the top we don't want oily no <laughs> but yeah i really hope you guys will find this video helpful and we'll jump straight into it okay so the first thing that you want to do um is prep your skin obviously so i'm going to be using my glam glow glow starter moisturizer you guys have seen this a few times in my tutorials um, this one is nice because it has that glow to it this is the lighter one in nude glow this is like super hydrating as well, so I love it. It gives that really nice glow from within. My skin is dry, what the hell? And I know my brows are quite strong, but it's all good, it's all good. Can we just take a minute to talk about this top because this top was from Primark. It's super like, it's super thin and it's like that cut out kind of style like it's literally just been cut it was only three pounds can you believe that three pounds if you're going on holiday you need to get a bunch of colors in these this is so comfy and not like thick so i wouldn't get like hot from it or anything coming from someone who's guilty of being of looking like a grease ball in the past like literally grease oil slick in the past um, obviously I went through a phase where I was just so obsessed with dewy like I would just put dewy all over my skin and not put powder and I thought oh like dry, pe dry people with dry skin can't wear powder because it dries them out blah 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 when it's not really the case I mean you can definitely wear no powder if you feel like it but with me like when I look back at my photos and stuff it was so greasy like and even my friends would say like kind of look oily even oh my god my friends would actually say yeah it's a bit shiny but I was like shiny is what I want so what I like to do is keep the shine only on the highest points specifically. So my cheekbones, my temples, like a bit above the brow here, the bridge of my nose, keep his bow and the chin and everywhere else is matte unless I'm using like a shimmery bronzer, which is fine. Um, so the center of my face is relatively matte. So I'm gonna take some of my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer, which kind of mattifies the skin. And really controls it and I just put this everywhere where I don't really want it to be too dewy just prep the skin and I really should branch out I the one thing I hate those silicone um, primers I really don't like that like I don't like the feel of it on my skin so after you have prepped your skin you can add like a kind of like shiny base like a luminizer or a highlighter or a cream highlighter to your skin before you put your foundation so i'm going to show you guys some of my favorite ones that i love to wear i've got a few here you guys know i love my bobby brown glow stick this is in island if you like pop this on your skin all over it's super pretty like it makes your skin look wet like and they have various colors so you can definitely find your perfect color if you're paler than me and I love to like put a pirate powder highlight and then pop this on top to finish it off and make it look wet and it looks so nice. The next one is my Dewy Stick by Ciate. This is like, you guys know I love this one. Um, it's super like, this makes your skin look wet. Like it has that wet kind of finish to it. It's right there. So that's the Bobbi Brown one. This is more like a, a clear one I would say. Um, it's, it's good for like all skin tones 
And then I have two which are actually kind of dupes. So I've got my Iconic London um, Illuminizer, Illuminator. What is this? Liquid Highlighter by Makeup Revolution in Euphoric Gold. This is one of their newest ones that they came out with. But they are very similar in texture. But the Makeup Revolution is a bit lighter. But they are very similar in texture and finish. So I think I'm going to use... You've already seen me use the Iconic London one, so I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution one on one side and the Dewy Stick on the other so you guys can see. So again, I like to focus it on areas where I only highlight. I don't, I've discovered that I don't like putting it all over. <laughs> Definitely not all over. Even on its own, it's really, really nice. That is super pretty. Then we're gonna go onto the Dewy Stick by Ciate. I haven't used this one in a long time, but it is one of my favorites. Look at that. This one is like more like you're glowing from within, like you're healthy, you've been drinking your water. And it smells like vanilla, which is really nice. Okay, so now that your skin is nice and dewy, dewy, we are going to move on to foundation. So the foundation I'm going to be using today is the Infallible Pro Go by L'Oreal. I actually really like this foundation. It's in the shade, um, what shade is it? It's in Caramel Beige. Yeah, this stuff's really good. I do have a review on it and I'll link it in the info box if you guys want to check it out. I'm going to start with a little bit because I don't feel like I need that much foundation. I love that you guys are like snapping me photos of you guys drinking water and that you've decided to drink more water because you like see me talk about it that's like so cool like I'm trying to spread good health and positivity you know um, maybe who knows who knows I've probably become this really big health junkie and really I'm not but I'm definitely more conscious of what I'm eating and stuff like I feel super bad when I eat unhealthy stuff when before I really didn't give a crap. Anyways, I'm using the Real Techniques setting brush to blend my foundation. Rightio, you can use any foundation. Even if you want, you can wear a matte foundation and just highlight on the highest points if you are if you have oily skin. Like if someone asked me, like, what do I do? I have oily skin, but I really like a dewy look. You can always set the center of your face and just highlight on the highest points. Or you can use an illuminizing powder, which kind of highlights but sets at the same time. I know it's so weird, but like, for example, my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish does that um, in my skin color, which is medium tan, and the Bobbi Brown um, Nude Illuminating Finish Powder in Buff, that does it as well. Like, it kind of illuminates but sets at the same time. Okay, so now I'm using my EX1 Delete Fluid Concealer Mixed 8 and 13 together. I really like this concealer. I have done a review on it and as I've been wearing it more, I've realised that it's definitely not like Sharp Tart Shape Tape or the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Light. Like, they're literally dupes and they're very full coverage, they're a bit drier. Whilst this is very hydrating but not too much and it's super lightweight, it's not as thick, not as thick as Tart Shape Tape, but you definitely feel some grit to it. So it's kind of like, it's like a, it's literally just below the Tarte Shape Tape and I think that's why I like it. You can put it on your lids but I'm going to use something else on my lids today. Right. Oh, I'm looking like a grease ball. Like this is what I would go out as. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to show you this stuff because even though this is like a dewy AF tutorial, I need to show you like not to look I need to show you what I think is best to kind of not look like a grease ball but you know dewy not like a grease ball not oil slick we don't want that I'm using the Ben Nye banana powder do a little baking baking I really need to get my hands on a Laura Mercier powder but I swear this month I've spent too much on makeup always set around my mouth it like the areas that I want to highlight. Can you still see the dew there? 
but I always get these areas. So just let that sit for a minute. I know I look really matte, but it's okay. We're going to get that dew back in a sec. So just take your brush and flick away all the powder. I have been obsessed with the Huda Beauty Bronze Sands Highlight Palette. I'm going to do one side with it and show you guys what I, what I really love about it. So first I'm going to use the cream highlight here. It's really nice and gold, so pretty. I've been literally wearing this every day, <laughs> I kid you not. And I literally just press it on the highest points of my face. And I, I swear like even let's say sometimes I've forgotten like that I've put powder and I put it on top and it still works fine. You know, I mean, I've been loving to just pop the um, highlight that comes with it. I know I've been using this a lot, but I really wanted to incorporate this into this video because it's literally the one I've been using every day. I also like to put just above my brow. I feel like literally it's making my temples pop up. <laughs> what the hell? So now with that, now we're dewy on that side, we're going to use the bronzer and I've been loving the bronzer. What I prefer to do though is put a um, matte bronzer and then pop that on the top. It works best like that than on its own. Okay, so today I'm just going to go with the bronzer that comes in the palette. And I'm literally starting to get a dent in this one. This is just so nice. So some of you asked me like, is the bronzer as shimmery as the highlight? It is, it's all, all, I feel like it's all got their own amount of like shimmer. The thing is because it's darker, it acts more as a bronzer than a highlighter. Like a light doesn't, light reflects on it, but compared to my skin, it reflects in a darker way so like it, it's more like a bronzer for my skin tone even though i'm under light you can still see it as a bronzer do you know what i mean and then just to kind of balance it out i'm going to use a matte blush i don't like to mix too much shimmery stuff so i'm going to use a matte blush this is a bobby brown one in pale pink so for the other side, I'm going to be using the Topshop bronzer in Salute. So just kind of bronze your face how you wish. I always do the perimeter. So then I'm also going to go with another Topshop product. It's the highlighter in Horizon. Super pretty. And we're going to pop this again on the highest points. Then you can take any of your cream highlighters. So I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown one just to show you guys. I literally take it and take a clean side of my sponge and I literally pop that on the top. I really like diffuses it and it just makes it look really like from within, which I really like, but still like the beaming. Some people may say, oh, you're not supposed to put cream on powder, but this is what I've been doing and it's been working fine for me. I'm going to be using the Smashbox Primer Water, you guys know I love, love, love this stuff. By far my favourite setting spray ever. Just let that dry. Do you know what I mean? It's matte in the centre. I could do with some more powder on my forehead, but I'm not mad at it. Um... It's super dewy, but it's controlled. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to call this a controlled dewy AF. Shall I call it that? Because <laughs> that's the whole point of this video, I guess. But anyways, I'm going to be filming the rest of my makeup, which be which will be for Instagram. So make sure to follow me on there if you're not ready. It's Emushka with two S's and two A's at the end. Um, and yeah, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So that's the end of this tutorial and talk through, I guess. As you guys wanted to see both videos that I suggested on Instagram, I will be doing a uni look soon, 
I don't know when but I'll try and do it as soon as possible but I really hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyable and yeah if you have any questions ask them in the comments below again thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video like I honestly appreciate it so much and it really 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 means so much to me so thank you guys and yeah let me know what you would like to see next and I will see you guys next time bye